Okay then guys, welcome back to Foxtech and today we're gonna be talking about how you can remove a Google account from Safari on your iPhone. It is important to note that, that the Google account on Safari is different from having a Google account in the Gmail app or other specific app on your iPhone. Let me explain how it works and guide you through the process. When you add a Google account to your iPhone for contacts or mail, you manage it You manage it through the settings in the Accounts tab. This is very straightforward for apps like Contacts and Mail where you can clearly see and manage your Google account. However, Safari works a bit differently. There isn't a specific Accounts section for Safari in the settings where you can manage your Google account. What typically happens is that you log into your Gmail or other Google account on a website while using Safari. For instance, if you open Google in Safari and sign in, Safari will remember this login for that specific site. To remove your Google account from Safari that way, you need to sign out from that website directly. So open Safari, navigate to any website where you are signed in, and sign out the usual way by clicking on your profile and then selecting sign out. Now, if you want to ensure that all traces of your Google account and other data are removed from Safari, you can take an extra step by clearing your browsing history and website data. This will sign you out from all the websites and remove cookies and other stuff that you might find useful. So to do this, open the settings app on your iPhone, scroll down to the Safari section and once there, scroll down and you'll see a blue button labeled clear history and website data. Tap on this button and confirm to clear all your browsing history and website activity. By doing this, you effectively removed any saved information from any website, including your Google account. So yeah, this makes you and creates a clean slate and helps you maintain your privacy. So hope you found this video helpful. That's everything that you should know about it. If you did find it useful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. It really does help me and lets me know that you'll find this tutorial useful. You can also subscribe to Fox Tech and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.